Hello, I'm Tabitha and I work at the Connection Corner branch of Muncie Public Library, which is our technology branch. And this is Tech Time Stories. We will be reading books about concepts and notable people in the fields of STEM, which are science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Today we will be reading 88 Instruments by Chris Barton and then looking at the app GarageBand, which is technology that can help you explore different instruments and music composition. This book gives us a great opportunity to include the arts to our explorations of STEM. The arts interact with STEM topics in so many ways. You can use science, technology, engineering, and math to help you create beautiful art, from music to video, traditional arts like painting or photography, and even performance arts. Art can help you with STEM work, too. Thinking creatively and artistically can help you solve all kinds of problems. Plus, it's just fun. This is why people use the inclusive acronym STEAM instead of STEM in many cases. They are including the arts. Now here is 88 instruments. Eighty-eight? That's how many pounding, sounding, astounding, mounds of sounding instruments are in this shop. But I can take lessons on only one. Not 75 or 64 or 33 or 12. One, says Dad. For now, says Mom. Your pick, says Dad. Within reason, says Mom. How am I supposed to pick just one? Do I pick the squeeziest? The wheeziest? The easiest and breeziest? But how about the slidiest, the squonkiest, the blowiest, the honkiest? The tootiest or grooviest or shiniest? Or maybe just the tiniest? There's also the strummiest and the thrummiest, the smashiest, the crashiest, the drummiest and bashiest. The twangiest, the rowdiest, the loudest, the crowdiest, the pink. Oh. It's so clear. Plunk. So right. Plunk. So right for me. I'm going to learn the plinkiest, the plunkiest, and here to there the spunkiest, the piano. But wait, there are so many keys to keep straight, so many to master. How many are there? Do you know how many keys are in a piano? There's one, twelve, 33, 64, 75. And 88. 88 keys and 88 sounds. And 88 sounds like a lot. But you know what? I'll learn it just one plink, one plunk, one note at a time. And soon I'll be ready for all 88. And that's the end of 88 Instruments by Chris Barton. Now that looked kind of fun, but what if you can't go to a music shop and try 88 different instruments? Here at Connection Corner, we have iPads and Apple computers available for public use that have an app called GarageBand. 
Let's check it out. GarageBand is a neat app because it lets you explore different instruments right on your screen. You can try strings like the violin, cello and bass, guitars, drums, even instruments from around the world. How do they sound? Try notes versus chords. You can play the drums. Or use the beat sequencer. Once you get a feel for things, you can even put together your own song by recording them and adding them together. There's a board of live loops to mix if you don't want to make your own. Just tap and let them go. You can even record yourself singing to put over your new song. Then you can save your file as an mp3 and share it with friends and family. For more advanced music makers, we also have Logic Pro X, which has more instruments and loops and lots more tools to customize your amazing music. Here at Connection Corner, we offer one-on-one -on -one sessions to all ages for questions and tips about any of our technology. Call us to find out more or make an appointment. Stop into Connection Corner and make some music for us, or try GarageBand on your iPad or iPhone at home. Thank you for joining me for Tech Time Stories. I hope you had fun listening to our book and learning a little more about GarageBand. Join us next month for some more exciting activities. Don't forget, knowledge is power.